Live, deep in the heart of West Texas, it's the James Hendricks Show. Coming to you from the James Hendricks Center for Advanced Conservative Federalist Studies. Guys, the title of this episode is called God's Blueprint versus Government Blunder. (laughs) And oh, there is a lot of government blunder. But, we're also going to talk about God's blueprint. So, let's deal with government blunders first, okay? Two stories from Newsmax. The first one is, uh, top FBI official linked to ties with the media. Now, as someone who took a course in mass communications law let me tell you something something like this is intriguing because if there is corruption involved let me tell you something there are a variety of legal issues involved that the average American don't even don't even know and so This is where I'm going to talk to you about it. First of all, there is the matter of First Amendment issues. Perhaps the Biden administration might try the uh, prior restraint argument. And we know (laughs) that thanks to some people with ideals of the class of 68, New York Times versus the United States in 1971. Supreme Court voted 63, 63 that the the free there is a free press right regardless a prior restraint. Now I'm going to say this a little bit more objectively. Okay, this is a double-edged sword. In in many ways, it's good, but nowadays. When you have WikiLeaks and all kinds of intrigue, you got problems. You got problems, you know? I don't know. And then there's the matter of confidential privilege, okay? Say that if the FBI official has ties to the media. And I'll say some conservative leader. I'm only going to give a fictional hypothetical one so that we don't uh, we don't upset the apple cart. We don't go reactive because that's not what the show's about. Let's say there is a former libertarian congressman from Virginia. You know, he's wealthy. He's resurfaced. And he's recently had an affair that has led to some charges of rather conspiracy and perjury. And, okay, this guy's uh, right-leaning libertarian. So this FBI dude goes ahead and gets an attorney to try to compel uh, the affair woman to come forward and talk about it. One problem, though, the journalist is not willing to confirm or say who the affair woman is, or hand over her notes, or her, you know, back in the day when I was going to school, it was tapes, and nowadays it's digital recordings. I'm telling you, it's muddied waters, not to mention right to privacy. I gotta tell you. Right to privacy up the nose. He's like, how does this do? What does this have to do with right to privacy? Suppose that uh, FBI agent gives a news media guy called Carte Blanche, Blanche to spy on this uh, conservative, this uh, conser- this right wing libertarian to spy in his home. Well, his mistress is there. 
be a some crazy warrant, you know, something crazy as Pfizer or something like that. It's still a no-no to some degree. However, right to privacy laws when it governs the media, <laughs> mass media law, the one thing I learned is it's, it's murky waters. So, you see, I'm not trying to be some kook and say, hey, we're being watched. No. I'm going to be nice about it and say, hey, we are being played. Okay, we are being played. Now, here is the second news story, and this one, we are going to be talking about God's blueprint, okay? I'm not going to take a side in this story, just have a biblical worldview about it. Israel is asking the United States to send some forces to help deflect um, Iran. You know, now being born in West Texas, I'm more than to say Iran, but having my brief stint in journalism school and how things are pronounced in the broadcast world, it's Iran. So, not taking a side, let me get my King James Bible. <laughs> you know we're going there. Whether you like them or not, we're going there. Now, I'm taking my Latter-day Saint edition King James Bible. We're going to go all the way back to Genesis. All the way back to Genesis. I was studying the, the book of John earlier, and we'll still get back to that. We will still get back to that, but this is more important. This is the Abrahamic Covenant. Okay, so that's something that we need to kind of have an, an appreciation for. All right, so, so, so get ready. We're going to go to Genesis chapter 12 and have a little fun. Okay, it's going to take me a little bit of time. Good news is this Bible is large print. Shouldn't be no problem. Now, okay. Where are we? Genesis chapter 12. We're going to do 1 through 3. It says, Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred. And from thy father's house unto the land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Okay, so you see, that is pretty power packed. That is, that is God's blueprint. We as, as Americans, I believe, because Israel helped us get our freedom. I believe we have some moral obligation to look after Israel. Now, I'm going to say something, and this is a bit controversial, but I'm going to say this. Back in, from, from 2003 to 2008, there was a time for a little while that I supported the Gulf War, the, the Bush W Gulf War. But I found some holes in the arguments. I mean, many people want to say that it was about weapons of, of mass destruction. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think I think that war was a matter of, of uh, expediency. Um, a lot of journalists and people want to say 
what it's about. Many people want to say what it's about. I wrote a paper about this with Iran and Iraq and, and the nuclear and arms trade going on between China and Arab nations. Um, I'm not going to go through the particulars in the paper, but suffice it to say, we have a moral obligation for Israel. And that's God, God's blueprint for America. We need to bless Israel now. Now, I hope you enjoy listening to the James Hendricks Show. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of receiving most daily updates. This is Jimmy Hendricks saying until next time, take care and be proactively informed. God bless you guys. Don't take part in all that reactivity out there. I care about you guys. God bless you.